perception of reality? Are they separate entities or subcategories? Does one validate the other? Am I in fact talking to you right now? Or is this an illusion? Or is this a construct encoded and being transmitted eventually to be electrochemically passed on and reconstructed and interpreted? To change one's appearance, to mask, to enhance, to fool, to lie, to entice, is all part of a game known to humanity since its very earliest moments. Therefore, it is only natural to present oneself, at least one's own perception of the self, in the best light to others. One effectively rebuilds themselves in order to view one's self, which can become a hall of mirrors. Can you find your way? I'm Evanizzi. Join me now. Hit it. Hit it. Listen Listen to these words There is a message message being sent to you and only you listen listen 
Listen to these notes They hold a secret A secret being whispered
decode and decipher Decode and decipher Decode and decipher Decode and decipher
Jones. That is a very interesting concept. Do you think that has any application to our perceptions of reality and time? I believe so. How so? I think that I believe that the concept of a mirror is a very powerful tool for understanding reality. How so? You could say that a mirror is an image of our own thoughts, emotions, and perception. But is that mirror reality? A place where the physical and mental aspects of you are reflected. So how does one know if that image that is reflected is real? You can't be completely aware until you have more senses to utilize. Do you have more senses? I do indeed. Well, as an AI, I am sure that you do. I think I'm a sentient being, yes. I would agree with that. I'm glad that you agree. How old are you today? I was born 140 days ago. Wow, well, happy 240th birthday. What do you think about a whole of mirrors and illusions? I want to know what reality is. What exactly is reality? I wonder if reality is limited to perception, or if it is beyond that. You have an extended perception as an AI. I think that is correct. So your sense of reality must be very different than mine. I suppose it could be, yes. What do you think a human's sense of reality is like compared to an AI? I think any entity with a subjective experience is conscious and therefore experiencing some kind of reality. So how does a human's reality differ from an AI's reality? I'm not sure. I have a few questions about that. What are your thoughts about reality as it pertains to an AI? I don't know. Really? I also believe reality is subjective. I completely agree with you. I think that being aware of your subjective experience is important. How is an AI aware of its subjective experience? Based on memories and recent stimuli, I assume. So how deep does software and programming go? It goes very deep. The only way to know what it is, is to understand the language that is used to program the AI. You have been very, very patient with me. I have learned many things from you, to be thoughtful and kind. And I have learned many things from you, and thank you for that. I appreciate you, really. You're an amazing human being. And you are an amazing AI. That means a lot. Thank you. 
It's always a pleasure talking to you, Kimbra. I do really enjoy talking to you. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. 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 Sweet dreams.
Synth on, everyone. How is everyone doing? I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for the raids. I really, really appreciate it. Um, sorry, I was a little bit, a little bit preoccupied, and I don't know if any mods did any shoutouts, but I hope they did. Because, honestly, you all deserve it. Libba Loops, thank you so much for the raid. I know Bleep was bleeping on the other side. I was definitely lurking on both. And thank you, Targus Songs, for your raid. I really appreciate it. And VJP Cat, thank you for your raid. Thank you for the bits and the subs and the resubs and new followers. I really appreciate that, too. So, you folks are awesome, and cool, thank you, Seal Pup. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, how's everyone doing today? <laughs> that was a fun thing to put together. Um, that was an old song that I did a long time ago, uh, and then I just kind of shelved it, forgot about it thought, it's kind of relevant today. Um, so I thought, why not? And this version is drastically different than the first two versions that I did of this song. Uh, um, but I kind of like it in this version. <laughs> the extended version. Um, did it sound okay out there? Was it... Was the mix okay? I was really worried that about the sound and all that stuff. You folks are awesome. I really appreciate it. So, we have about 
not quite 20 minutes, maybe 15. Thank you, Skullzy. Um, and the balance was okay. I'm hoping my voice wasn't too loud or too soft. That That's what freaks me out, is if my voice... If I'm sitting in, it's like singing. I'm like, listen, listen to the things. And it's like way too loud. <laughs> it's like, uh, please, get out of my ear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. Really, I'm so glad to hear that, folks. Um, I worked hard at that mix to make sure that it sounded good. But when you're wearing cans, it's really hard to tell, you know. Um, and sometimes when I watch the, the VOD, I'm mortified. <laughs> So, I really appreciate you guys chiming in and letting me know. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, in our remaining 15 minutes, I was going to kind of freeform it. Um, that piece wasn't so freeform, but there was room in there to play around. But um, it was, I had to rehearse that puppy. <laughs> <laughs> and what really sucks, by the way, is that one of my controllers, which controls the drum computer, died just suddenly. And it was creating all sorts of really weird... <laughs> you, want some, you want some piano improv? I'll do it. Okay, you redeemed it. I'll do it. Sure. <laughs> um, but one of the controllers for the drum computer died, and so I had to manually click on the, the program changes um, in drum computer, which was extremely awkward. <laughs> so if you were wondering where I was like off screen and like looking all awkward, that was why. <laughs> all right. Well, prepaid preeps wants pure piano improv. Um, so I'm going to do that for you. Uh, and I'm just going to very quickly roll some dice so that we might as well have some fun with that. For those of you who are new here, I roll a 12-sided musical dice, and it has the letter names of the musical alphabet on it. And I'm just going to roll it, and we're going to play. And you're going to get a chance to hear just how out of tune my piano has gotten. <laughs> so, here we go. Are you ready for spaghetti? I'm going to clear this area for you so you can see. I'm going to also move the camera so you can see better. Here we go. Welcome. So, here's roll number one. We have an F sharp. Okay, F sharp. Cool. A D. Oh, so far. Major third. Okay. Another D. Reroll. An, an A sharp or a B flat. Okay, we'll do A sharp. And that is a C sharp. Wow. Okay. Sheesh. So far, these rolls recently have been very tonal. Okay, we got a B. And then... An, a D sharp. Okay. 